you ever see a thing called tenosin of ice involving the arm or the wrist? Tenosynovitis of the uh, fingers and uh, wrist uh, is quite common, but not as common as trigger fingers. Trigger finger is also tenosynovitis. Well, first of all, we should define what we mean by tenosynovitis. It's a big so, word, but what does it really mean? So, tino is, stands for tendon. Sino stands for the synovium, the lining of the tendon, and it stands for the inflammation. So, this, what does this come from? So, tenosynovitis can come from two things. One, from idiopathic inflammation, and second... Idiopathic means the doctor doesn't know why. Doesn't know why. And second, from secondary causes like rheumatoid arthritis, and the third one, uh, I should have said three causes, is from infection. And the most common cause, infectious cause, of tenosynovitis in the fingers and the wrist and the forearm is tuberculosis. Tuberculosis? Tuberculosis uh, in uh, Brooklyn and Bronx is the most common cause of infectious tuberculosis. I thought TB was almost eradicated. Now you're telling me you've seen TB. We have seen several cases of... Are these uh, people born from other parts of the world when they came in? Sixty percent of the patients who have uh, tuberculosis in our country are immigrants from other countries. That's 60 percent. Now you get 40 percent. You mean we're seeing TB in this country too now? Forty percent of the uh, American-born uh, people uh, develop tuberculosis. Uh, but tuberculosis is not so common now. Are there some viruses that can cause tenosynovitis that maybe just cause inflammation? We don't know. Patients who have uh, HIV, they have a higher incidence of uh, tenosynovitis and majority of them is tuberculosis. In kids, we know it can affect, especially the hip joint. And we usually think it's a virus, but it goes away by itself, thank God. Many times it goes away by itself, but uh, in the hip you have to be careful, make sure there is no bacterial infection. But it's because a, it's a it very... bacterial, it's a disaster. But your approach basically is very conservative with situations like that? For tenosynovitis of the uh, wrist and the uh, fingers, uh, the uh, basic treatment is to immobilize the joint and uh, if that doesn't work, uh, give cortisone injection. And if that doesn't work, then take a biopsy to make sure it's not an infection. Because biopsy will tell you if it's an infection. Thank you very much.